couldn't have used the tag of this. That's right. <laughs> All right, fellow Toastmasters and guests, we've gathered here tonight at the first meeting annually of our Toastmasters Club. And for many people, the beginning of a year signifies a time to reminisce about the past year, reflect on things that could be different, and also make plans and patch out some resolutions for the future year to come. Now, I'll confess to you all that a week ago I was speaking with my girlfriend and she asked me what my resolution was. And I didn't have an answer. I said, this year, you know what, McKenna? I'm not going to have a resolution because I don't want to do a resolution. But I'll tell you all, I changed my mind. And I said, you know what, Jeff? No one's too good to not have a resolution. And I resolved this year that my resolution would be ice balls. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, that doesn't sound like something I'm familiar with. You know, I'm used to going to a party of some extended family and having my fast speaking but slow thinking cousin say something like, you know, I'm just really tired of having to do all this stuff and I don't have anything organized, I have all my papers scattered around. This year, I'm going to, I resolve to be more organized. I'm going to put all my file cabinets away in their correct positions. I'll just maximize my time efficiency, right? And who knows whether he's going to do it or not. Others of you find yourselves going to meetings with all your collective neighbors, sipping on some eggnog, and you hear the, the perennial smoker of the neighborhood. And through his coughs, he says, <clears throat> this year <laughs> is going to be the year. This is my last cigarette right here. 2013 is going to be clean for me. You'll see. And then many of us have work parties. We go to our work parties and we're mingling around the guests and we see the guy that comes in every day with a new suit and a designer tie and classically overconfident and boastfully says, this year I'm not going to waste any money on frivolous things. This year I'm going to save for the important things in life. And of course we have our close family gatherings listening to on Long Sign in our sister, who is a 4.0 student, says, I'm going to try really hard to just enjoy life. I'm not going to worry about getting A's and doing the best I can in my classes. I'm just going to be happy this year. Right, and we think, all right, this girl's a 4.0 student. She's going to study. She's going she's gonna to do it all, knock the ball out of the park. And then I think the most entertaining of all the resolutions some of us will hear is as some of us go to church and we listen to the spendthrift miser confess through her breath, unlike that man at the business meeting, that I'm going to give myself a new wardrobe. <laughs> right? Now, those are all pretty fun to listen to, but I think the funnest one to see is on Facebook. Many of us scroll through Facebook. We know the people that, you know, are chronic photo takers of their dinners and they just post them on Facebook for no reason. Of course, they post something at 12.01 a.m. on New Year's saying, I'm going to cut my time on Facebook and social networking in half. And we think, yeah, right. There's no way. So those are some of the traditional resolutions that we hear. And my resolution, Ice Balls, comes from a personal experience of mine that taught me a very valuable lesson. Now. About six years ago, I used to live back at home in Wenatchee, Washington, where it snowed during Christmas. A little bit unlike Baltimore, where snow is much more scarce. And I was going through a year of school where I had to do very well to get accepted to college. So I was busting my tail to get the good grades. And I was going to bed every night at 11 p.m. My brother, my younger brother and I would always go to sleep at 11 p.m. And I'd set the alarm for 6.30. But six years ago to this day, January 3rd, I said, brother, we're doing something different. Tomorrow, we're doing 4 a.m. So I got on my alarm, right? And I pluck in 4 o'clock a.m. And I set it down. And the miracle is this. 
we get out of bed at 4 a.m. the next day. And Ooh. we trudge up the stairs and talk to my brother. He's saying, man, Jeff, this is just, oh, this is a killer. <laughs> That's exactly how he talks. <laughs> and we put on our snow gear, and we head outside into the snow. And I'm there, you know, making these, these snowballs, chucking at him, he's running away. And we found the funnest thing. After making a snowman, we decided we are going on the trampoline. We got inside the trampoline and found at 4.15 a.m. that there were ice balls. We didn't know how these things formed, but there were ice balls inside that trampoline that was kind of blocked off by this thing so we don't jump off and try to land on each other. It's kind of gated in, this trampoline of ours. They're ice balls. So we throw all the ice balls out. We have the most fantastic ice ball fight of our lives that morning at 4.15, 4.30 a.m. Now, what does this have to do with resolutions? I'll tell you what it means. Some of you are familiar with this. This was done by Leonardo da Vinci. It's called mm. The Vitruvian Man. What's interesting about this is that Leonardo da Vinci had made this man to be geometrically almost perfect, right? So that either he's standing like this and fits the square, or he's standing like this and he fits the circle. But the thing is, I'm not a believer in this. In fact, I don't believe it at all. I think none of us are cookie cutter cutouts. We're each different, we each have personality, and we can each have our own goals. Now for me, what I decided is, you know, a lot of the res resolutions I said are important. Quitting smoking is great. I'm not trying to put those down, but for me, I'm going to try to do a little bit of spontaneity. I'm going to try to live life and have some variety. And for me, my resolution this year, ice balls. <laughs>